What's up, YouTube? Long time no see. Hey guys, how you doing? I know it's been a while. It's been a long time since I posted something about the Super Duty. All right, guys, it's been that kind of uh, winter. We got have a lot of projects going on, and I kind of got backed up. So, but I'm back. Little update with the Super Duty truck is doing very well. Don't know about this channel. All right, I did a, a, a playlist about my 2020 Super Duty for Tremor. Um, started about two years ago when I got the truck. A lot of updates on this truck. Check out that playlist. I'm pretty sure you'll find something in there uh, that'll perk your interest if you own one of these trucks. But the purpose of this video is something I want to share with you guys. Now, I'm getting up in age. I look good, but I'm getting up in age. And this is pretty much probably gonna go to the people who's dealing the same issues that I'm dealing with. You ever notice when you're driving your truck, especially around the winter time, uh, you turn the heat on and your feet is always fucking cold. <laughs> and then if your wife is in the truck with you and you turn the heat on, she's saying it's too hot, but your feet is cold and you're uncomfortable and you're driving and yada, yada, yada. If you know what I mean, please leave a comment <laughs> below. But in that case, I was just browsing uh, the forum, the Super Duty forum, and I came across this certain product that one of the, uh, one of the guys from the forum came up with, all right? And when I saw that, I immediately said, that's what I need. And let me show you what I'm talking about, <laughs> all right? All right, this is for the people out there in the northern part of the country or who have to work in the winter. And definitely, I was thinking about the deer hunters out there, uh, whitetail hunters, elk hunters. You're out there in the winter. You're hunting. You're going out there with your truck. And when you get back in your truck, you're trying to get it warm, and your feet is damn cold, and the heat is just not hitting your feet properly. I, I found this here. All right, it's called a vent diffuser or a heat deflector or whatever you want to call it. But what it is, is simply to redirect the heat to your feet when you're driving. When I saw this, guys, I said, I need to get one of these. All right, because again, with me, all right, my feet get cold. I don't know. It's just, it just what it is. And I hate driving and having cold feet. <laughs> right? So I reached out to him and got in touch with me and he sent us out. Again, guys, I bought this here. And stand, stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to install it. And at the end of the video, um, I got a special, all right, for you guys if you're interested in this product, all right? I put links about it and links about all the products that I'm doing on my truck. Of course, those links will be affiliate and it does really does support this channel and I greatly appreciate it. But enough with that. Again, he came up with this, he designed it himself and uh, it's, of course, it's, it's, what do you call it? We call that uh, printing, uh, 3D printing. He uh, came up with this. And that, I believe it's a genius product, it really is, for your people. And again, I, I keep on saying, I think this is ideal if you know nor, up north or you're, for the hunters, I was thinking about it, Dri uh, tow tr truck drivers, uh, long haulers and stuff. And you drive a Super Duty, actually, any, any truck, especially in the Super Duty, if you have the same type of configuration, I believe this will work. Again, just to keep your feet warm, all right, or direct that heat towards your feet. So let me show you what I'm doing real quick, all right? It's a very simple product, it's plastic, and as you can see, when you look at it, it has like a little angle to it, uh, directing two points, one pointing straight this way and another one going down, opposed to what I'll show you how the manufacturer had been set, set up. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna install this. This is the driver's side. I don't know if he makes a passenger side. I have to find out. Um, I'll put the comments in it or some type of uh, note if he make passenger side, but uh, this is for the driver's side, which is most important because we're the drivers and we wanna be comfortable, all right? He also provides uh, these little connectors. Um, I forget the name of these connectors. Um, it eludes me, all right? I put a little comment in the screen with these connectors, but he does apply the connectors and the device or the vent, all right? And let me show you what I'm talking about for you guys who are still kind of confused and say, what the hell, Ray, are you talking about keeping your feet warm? All right, let me see if y'all can see this. All right, right here is where the heat comes out for the feet. As, as you can see, this vent is simply going straight across, right? If you're looking straight at it, it's pretty much punching you in the face when the, the heat comes out. So what that vent does, and let me go grab it, which I should have grabbed it when I came to the truck, excuse me. 
what we're going to do, we're just simply going to take this vent and we're pretty much just going to go over this right here. It's going to go something like that. And as you can see, that vent is now pointing down to your feet. And what I like about it, the bottom one, that vent is now hitting the gas pedal where your feet is. And this upper one right here is directed toward the brake pedal. So you constantly have some decent coverage of heat coming out of your vent. I thought this was a, a, a simple but ingenious product, which is something I'm glad I picked up. Guys, so if you're interested in this, please uh, check out the details. I'll put it, the information about this product. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to install it. And it's not too difficult at all. All right, so stay with me. Let me turn this camera around if you don't mind. And this is gonna kind of roll cut, all right? So if you're interested in this type of product, please consider like, subscribe, and stay with me when I install this. All right, again, we're gonna call this the uh, heat deflector, heat defli diffuser, or just simply something to keep my freaking feet warm, all right? So, I'd love for me talking. Please like, subscribe, and let's just get into the video. Let's go. Okay guys, now to get this started, what you're gonna need, you need a couple of tools. All right, first thing you're gonna need is, I believe this is a, a 932 um, socket. And what you're gonna do, you're simply gonna go down and you're gonna, it's held by this panel, we're gonna take this panel off. And it's held by just one screw right there. Hold on, let me see if I can direct this guy. All right, it's held by one screw. So once you unloosen that, we're gonna remove this panel because it's much easier to install it with this panel off than trying to install it with it on. So let me show you what, how I'm gonna do that. And also, no, that's pretty much it. So stand by, let me get this off. And I already unscrewed that screw. And these panels are pretty much held with push tabs. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get it underneath it and you're gonna pull toward you and you should feel it pop off. And we should be able to just remove this with any problems. So stand by and let me get that done. Okay guys, let me show you what it is. All right, see this push tabs right here at one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and again, all you're gonna do is when you grab it, you're gonna pull from the bottom, come up this way, and you're gonna lift up. You see you got a little tabs here, a little that bite down. You'll see it, it comes right off. Just pop that off, all right? And right here is your screw. Now be careful with your power tools. I think when I, last time I took mine off, I kind of went too far and ended up breaking it slightly. So just be careful, try to use hand tools, avoid the power tools. It's not too, too noticeable, but I just want to bring that out to you, all right? And let me show you what I have here. And as you can see, again, it's held by push tabs going through here, 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 and so, so on. So just pull up, lift up, and it'll remove. And as now you can see the vent, all right? The vent is just pretty much coming straight toward us. So with that diffuser, again, it's gonna force that hot air to come down towards your feet. So that's the reason why we're doing this little upgrade. Okay, guys, um, let me show you. Again, there's two ways you can approach this. The simplest way, all right, take it, like I showed you, line it up. Once you get it lined up, take your uh, 1 8 or in my case, I'm using a 764 drill bit, drill a couple of holes and use your rivets and go right in, into it. Now, I'm gonna do a little twist to this, all right? And I'm gonna show you some pictures of the owner of the company who developed this. He sent me, I'm gonna show his, his picture, his installation. I'm just gonna do a little uh, twist to his insulation is that I'm gonna turn mine around and flip it all right, on the opposite side, all right? And what I'm gonna do is simply, you see how you got your foam here and you got that curve and you got this little part here? It's not a big deal. And in this picture, he shows he has to grind that down to get the rivet points to sit flat. I'm just gonna take mine first and approach it this way. I'm gonna line it up to this edge, as you can see, right over here. 
And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start my two holes here. I'm going to drill just a pilot hole here and here. Once those two holes are done, then I'm going to flip it over and continue the normal way. And this is just for me to line it up. I don't know if you can see that. I'm lining it up so it's opposite of this little channel. All right. Just less grinding you have to worry about. All right, if you guys don't have a grinding wheel, I could do that, but I prefer just to line it up this way. And thus, as you can see, it gives me a, a perfect center point to hit my, to install mine. Don't worry about it's uh, not flush right now because it's not going to be flush because at this point, I'm just wanting to start my two holes up top and match it on the other side once I get these two holes drilled. So let me get that done quickly. Again, you know how I work. Sometimes I overthink things, but it's okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a quick pilot hole. All right, there's one there. Okay, there. Yeah, let me just finish this one off. Okay, got my two holes. Now I'm gonna flip it this way and line these two holes up, okay? And I hope that that makes sense to you. So now I know exactly having these two holes lined up, then I'll continue with the holes going the opposite way, thus giving me a nice installation in the back here. All right, so that hole's done, that's hole Then Now I'm gonna do the rest of the holes. And what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna have a little bracket here so it doesn't move when I drill my holes. Okay, and right now I'm just gonna continue to add the holes. And that's it. All right, got the holes in there. All right, and as you see, got a nice clean hose matched up to your, your vent. Once that's done, now what we'll I have to do is just simply add our rivet points and it's attached. All right, so stand by, still waiting for my rivet gun to come in. So once that's here, we'll pick up this video. Okay guys, uh, let's continue on. As you can see, I'm back in the house now. It's really too cold and windy outside, so to make sure I got some good audio, I came inside to continue this video. Um, I just received my rivet too, so I'm gonna show you that. But I just wanna do a quick correction on what I stated on before. When you set up your holes and you drill the holes on this item, I incorrectly misspoke, or I used the wrong bit. I used a seven, initially a 764, bit to drill these holes, that's incorrect, all right? You have to use a 1 8 bit. So I came back and lost the hole. And the reason why, because these rivets would slip into this with no problem. Um, the 764 is just a little too tight. So make sure this is a 1 8 hold, which matches the hole to your, your vent. So I just wanna correct that now and simply we're just gonna rivet this on. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna show you the rivet gun I end up picking up from Amazon. And again, I'll put a link below of this particular rivet gun. And just, so it just came in. It's called We2 Swivel Head Rivet Gun. It's the WE895 version. This one seemed a good uh, deal because it was had 5% off, so if you, Amazon, if you're an Amazon member, of course, you'll get that percentage off, plus the free shipping. Now, what I like about this one, again, uh, it came with a case, plastic case, but nevertheless, a case to store it. And with this gun, as you can see, they, they give you the bits already in relation to whatever rivets you want to use, plus they give you a starter kit on different rivet size. So, again, it's not something I'm going to need because the manufacturer of the vents already supplies the rivets, but I thought it was a good look just to have additional rivets on hand so I don't have to buy additional. 
and this is the tool. And the tool chip is, you know, most likely it's ch Chinese made, and it, it is what it is. But it doesn't seem like it's too cheaply made, and it'll get the job done. And as you can see, it has different sizes. We have a right here, 32, 332 and 1 8 532 and 1 16 size rivets. So a decent amount of assortment of rivets. So if you ever need it, you have it. So, and you know me, I like I said, having extra tools never hurt. And also what attracted me to this one, because again, I'm gonna learn, you know, applying different uh, application when I may need a rivet. This one pivots, all right? And that really uh, appealed to me. So it gives, gives me the versatility to whenever I have to uh, rivet, I'm not locked into one position, one direction. This one will pivot to whatever the service that you're working toward. So that's what attracted me. Very inexpensive. Again, I'll put a link below of this particular model if you're interested. And again, it will be affiliate. So that's the debut of this one, and we're gonna get this, get this working. So since this is a one eighth, we're just gonna switch it out for, I believe it's this one here, head. So we're gonna take this off, which simply unscrews. You're gonna take this one off, replace it right here, put this one here so you don't lose it, and we're ready to rivet our vent. Okay guys, now we're gonna continue on. Now, you're gonna need six, of course, six, um, rivets and plus he gives you washers now these washers are gonna go in the back of this well back of here all right so we're gonna do I'm just gonna set up my rivets now like this or you can do one at a time I, I don't think it's a big deal just setting it up now just getting it started and now I'm gonna take it over here and just line it up all right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see if I can use the rivet to try to start it in this <sighs> yeah there you go. All right, see, I kind of use the rivet gun to help push it in, but I'm not gonna lock it in yet because you still have to add the washers. I'm just using it to help pop it in. It takes a little finagling. There you go, got that one. To try to pop it in, but again, just I'm just trying to push it in to get it exposed. Then I'll come back and pop it once I get it through. There you go, okay. That's good, that's good. Again, if it's not going in the first time, you might be off like I am just ever so slightly. Then just pull the, the rivet out and re-drill it. It's in there now. So now we're gonna do, we're just gonna come back with these washers and we're gonna have to throw, put it right here. All right, all right, and that's it. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it one at a time. So, so I make sure I got it seated in properly, so. I'm going to start with this top corner. I hope you can see that. Push that wash it on. Then I'm going to take my rivet gun, bring that down, and just start bringing it in. There you go. There you go. That's one down. And you can see it's seated in right there. Okay, I'm gonna continue on with this. Again, add my wash in the back, take my rivet gun, put it on top, and do a couple of pumps. Right there, right there. It's very easy to put on, guys. Um, again, this is my first time using a rivet gun, so if I seem like a little clunky, all right, because this, uh, it's not a natural move for me using this tool. I'm still learning how to use it. It's my first time ever using this. And with this rivet gun, what I I'm like I like it when it pivots, but I wish it was able to you're able to lock it in one position when you when you decide what position it is. As you can see, it, it constantly moves. So if you're trying to get a good hold of your rivet, it might slide all over the place. So that's one thing I don't really like about this, but I do like it that I can swivel, if that makes sense. Or maybe just me, because I'm not used, used, to the, used to this, all right? Because I'm trying to apply some pressure downward on the rivet to hold it in place. So it could be just user error. 
Okay, before I just want to show the back of it how it how it came out. Came out very nice. Everything's locked in. So that's my twist on trying to install this. So I have have it nicely lined up. All right. So let's go out to the truck and let's get it back installed. Okay, people. All right. That's the final look of it. Very easy to put in. Again, once you put the uh, pull this off, put pop it right back in. Again, held with one screw. Screw went went in very easily. Or underneath that, just have your long extension, and that's it. All right, guys, let me give you the final uh, verdict on this product. Now, I've been driving my truck for a couple of days after modifying the vent system, and I'm gonna tell you the truth. I have noticed uh, there is a noticeable difference on how warm my feet gets and how quickly it gets opposed before when I didn't have this item. I definitely recommend if you have the same issues and you like to get your feet up to temperature, especially um, in those wintery, uh, those cold climates, this is a simple idea and I wish I would have thought of it. <laughs> so like I stated before at the beginning of the video, speaking with the owner who uh, created this product, uh, he was gracious enough to send an extra one out and I'm gonna give this one away. To make it simple for you guys out there, if you're interested in getting this product, let me know. Um, I think I, I'm gonna make it simple. All right, let's do, say, if I get up, say about, I guess, let's get 25 likes on this video, all right? You gotta, you gotta like the video, you gotta comment on this video, all right? After commenting, making a comment on this video, I want you to go over to For Tremor Forum. All right, I'm also a member over there. This video will be posted there. Make a comment on that location also. After I see the two comments on the two locations, I'm gonna pick from the first 25 people who made comments and like the video. From that group of 25, I'm gonna pick a winner um, in receiving this. And tell me in the comments I'm looking for, how cold does it get around your feet in your neck of the woods? and why you think you deserve this. That's pretty much it, all right? Let's just make it simple. And I'm telling you, when you get this, it is gonna be a noticeable change, and I'm glad I got it, all right? So, guys, if this video was helpful, educational, you learned something, all right, please, consider like, subscribe, and also, again, making comments, the people making comments and liking, you have to subscribe to the channel, all right? You have to su subscribe, all right? And that's that. So, guys, thank you for joining me. I hope this was educational for my Ford Trimmer out there. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. And I'll try not to be gone for so long, all right? See you in the next one. Later.